Here's a new tester that I just got, a transistor tester. And it's a nice little unit. It's not very big at all. It's uh, about the size of a cell phone, a little thicker. And here is the interface. You plug uh, different components into that, and there's a little lever at the bottom left, and you push that down and it locks in the components. And here's all the things that it will identify automatically. So I thought I'd do some testing. And here's what I'm going to be using. A transformer, and some MOSFETs, regular transistors, a resistor, capacitors. And this little unit will test it. Now, a couple of, or yesterday, uh, I was uh, explaining to some friends about this little tester and they were all saying to me, you ought to make a video of this. I think everybody would be interested in it. So here it is. Okay, I've got this taped down so it doesn't move very much. And I'm going to just stick some parts in here. This is a 100k ohm resistor. And I'm going to plug this in 1 and 3. As you can see here, one and three. And I'm going to lock it down. There it says it's a resistor and it's uh, 98.8. And I, yes, I did check this with another meter and it's accurate. So let's pull that out. Let's put a diode in here. And we'll do one and three again. That is e easy to get to. Okay. Okay, and you can see which way the band is which is correct. Let me turn it around. We'll do the test again. There it is in the other direction. Me. Put a capacitor in here. This is a, let's see here. Oh, a 4.7 microfarad. Okay, that reads 5,000 nanofarads. That's within tolerance. That's probably accurate. And let's see. Here's a transistor. This is a, get that up here. This is a 2N6488. Uh, 2N6488. Lock that in. There you are. NPN transistor. Now let's see. Here is a another transistor, probably a something like a 2N222. Yeah, NPN. Okay. Here's another one.
PNP. And notice that you get the beta, but you also get the uh, other information, which is very useful. I'm pretty far away from it, so I don't want to say anything wrong. Okay, now let's see. One and one won't work. Let's see. Let me move that over to one and three here. There we go. This is a 500 picofarad. That reads 480. And here's a, a MOSFET. And this one is a P-channel MOSFET. You can see that up here. And I've got another MOSFET. Say that last one. Oh, it's so hard to read. Oh, that one was a IRF 9540. Okay. And let's see here. Here's another one. Oops. It shut down automatically. Okay, and this one is an N channel. And let me see what this one is. Oh, this is a IRF 510. So this little unit works really, really well. And here I'm gonna plug a coil in here. This is an interstage transformer for 1920s radio. And I'm going to plug it in one and three. I can get the lead to cooperate here. Okay. Close that down. Okay, and that is, looks like 3,486 millihenries. This is really a nice little unit. Thanks for watching.